In this video, we are going to cover reading and writing decimals. In order to read and write decimals, you really need to know your place value. So if you have not yet memorized your place value, it would be a good thing right now to pause this video and go back and listen to the song from earlier in the unit. Another thing I find helpful is to write down a place value chart in your notebook so that you have it for reference. When you're reading and writing decimals, you are going to underline the last digit in the number. So in this first number, we're going to underline the last digit, which is the 3. Now, the reason you need to know your place value is because you're going to need to know what place that 3 is. So I know that if I sing the song in my head, I've got tenths, hundredths. So it's 43 hundredths, and notice how I just say the number 43, and the word hundredths, or that place value of the last digit, comes next. So if we look at this next number, it, we, are, we have 3 and 32 thousandths. Notice that when we get, come to that decimal, I say and. So we would call it 3 and 32 thousandths. When you're formally reading or writing decimals, you don't say point anymore. You would just say and when there's a decimal point. So notice that the 2 is in the thousandths place, which is why we said it's 3 and 32 thousandths. Thousands. Again, that place value is super important. So for this next one, I have to sing the song in my head, so I'm thinking tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So again, smaller than a one with the TH, so we've got the ten thousandths place, and it's six ten thousandths. Again, looking at that last digit in the place value of it. Finally, for this last one, we have a whole 15. And again, we say and for the decimal, and then nine tenths, because the nine is in the tenths place. So you're looking at the place value of that last digit, and that's how you read and write decimal numbers. Okay, next you are going to learn how to write decimal numbers when you're given them in word form. So just a minute ago, you learned how to write them in word form, but now you need to know how to do the opposite. So if you're given a decimal number in words, such as 2 and 58 hundredths, you need to look and see, okay, where is that and that represents the decimal point? And what's before and after the and? So we have two and, so we just put two decimal point, And then we have 58 hundredths. So again, we need that 58 hundredths to rep be represented after the decimal. So the eight is going to need to go in the hundredths place. So again, we have tenths and hundredths. So we have eight tenths or excuse me, we have 5 tenths and 8 hundredths, so it's 2.58 or 2 and 58 hundredths. Notice how the 8 is in the hundredths place. So let's look at the next one. We have 112 and, 10, and 2 ten thousandths. So 112 comes before the decimal, 112 decimal, and so that's our and, and then we have two ten thousandths. So we need that two in the ten thousandths place. So we're going to have to go out a little bit here. So we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths. So we have a two in that ten thousandths, and the rest of those place values are going to be held with zeros. So we have 112.0002. Again, pay very close attention to that last place value and making sure that number is in the ten thousandths place. Okay, for this last one, we have 82 thousandths, and notice there's no and, which means it's all going to be to the right of the decimal place, or smaller than a 1, smaller than a 1 with a th, so we've got 82 thousandths, so we have 82, and that last number in the 82 needs to be in the thousandths place, so we count out tenths, hundredths, thousandths, so we've got 82, making sure again that the 82 ends in the thousandths, and then we fill in that extra place value with a 0. In this next slide, we're going to do a little bit of practice, and we want you to do this in your notebook. So see if you can figure these out before I tell you. Okay, so this first one, looking at the last digit, the 4 is in the thousandths place, or excuse me, in the hundredths place. So we have 123 and 4 hundredths. Try this next one now. Remember, we're going to say and for the decimal point. So we have 9 and 14 ten thousandths because that 4 is in the ten thousandths place. Notice how I'm emphasizing the th. Smaller than a 1 with a th is always to the right of the decimal. 
This last one, we have 804 thousandths. We don't need to say the zero and. We would just say 804 thousandths because it shows that this is less than one. So 804 thousandths would be this last one.